Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Norman Forecast Office, and this is a severe weather briefing for Tuesday, April 9, 2013. So you can see from this depiction of the Storm Prediction Center's forecast that much of Oklahoma and North Texas is under a slight risk of four severe thunderstorms. And you can see this hatched area from about Wichita Falls to Oklahoma City to Ponca City is where it kind of having perhaps the most severe storm reports are expected for tomorrow on Tuesday, April 9th. And in this hatched area, we're kind of looking for risk of very large hail up to the size of baseballs, winds over 65, maybe 70 miles an hour, as well as some tornadoes. Kind of see from this graphic, so we kind of hone in on it, the best coverage of storms going to be mainly across much of Oklahoma and maybe include far western North Texas, including Wichita Falls. But Oklahoma City is included, Lawton, Ponca City, Stillwater, Woodward, Clinton. This is the best chance for severe storms, mainly between 1 p.m. and midnight. The main threats are going to be hail the size of baseballs, wind gust up to 80 miles an hour, and perhaps even a few tornadoes. It appears that first storms will probably develop along and ahead of this dry line across western and southwestern Oklahoma and perhaps western north Texas, which if this occurs, these supercell thunderstorms would move northeast and produce would be the most dangerous type of storm with a very large hail and perhaps even tornado risk. As this cold front quickly moves south during the evening hours, it will overtake the dry line, so all the storms will form a, into a line, a squall line, that would bring perhaps more widespread severe reports, but probably not as severe, with hail maybe up to the size of golf balls and winds about 70 miles an hour. Heading into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, that cold front's going to quickly move south through the area. Be a lingering threat for severe weather across southern Oklahoma and southeast Oklahoma, where there could be quarter to golf ball size hail and winds up to 70 miles an hour between midnight and 7 a.m. Rain will be ending slowly across the rest of the area, and even before the precipitation ends across the northwest half of Oklahoma, could mix with a little light snow before ending. At this time, we are not looking for any accumulation if light snow does occur, but it will be turning much colder and be breezy behind that cold front. Here's a potential rainfall Tuesday and Wednesday across Oklahoma and West North Texas. You can generally see between a half of an inch and maybe up to almost two inches across the area with the heaviest rainfall, maybe across near Oklahoma City and Stillwater up toward Ponca City and Tulsa. Uh, locally heavier amounts may be even possible. So confidence levels, we are pretty confident that we are going to see some severe thunderstorms. We are definitely going to see a few severe storms with large hail and damaging winds. There's just a lot of moisture, a lot of instability, and strong shear. The combination of all these elements definitely allow the is very favorable for us to have severe thunderstorms. Heavy rainfall potential is moderate. We're not so sure as we're not confident if storms are going to train over the same areas, but if they do, they could produce one to two inches. Tornado potential remains low. It's all dependent if we can have supercell development along and ahead of the dry line and the cold front, which remains very uncertain as the amount of capping due to warm air just above the surface may limit thunderstorm potential actually ahead of the cold front and dry line. What you should do now is monitor the latest forecast, prepare for severe weather, go over safety plans now, and follow Weather Service Norman on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for the fur latest updates. Summarize, scattered severe storms will occur Tuesday afternoon and night with large hail and damaging winds as the main impacts. Hail could be as large as baseballs and winds up to 80 miles an hour could occur. However, there is a low potential of tornadoes. The most dangerous storms if they can develop, would be along and ahead of the dry line and the cold front, which would occur Tuesday afternoon and evening. Low confidence, but would be very high impact. Cold front will overtake the dry line Tuesday night, quickly turn colder, move south, and the severe weather threat will diminish after midnight. Localized flooding may occur as well with uh, one to two inches of rainfall, and perhaps, uh, which could cause some minor nuisance flooding. Now is the time to prepare for severe weather, review your safety plan, 
Make sure your storm shelters or safe rooms are ready in the event you must take cover. Know where family members are and where they'll be, especially during the late afternoon and evening hours. If you're outdoors, be very weather aware. Pay attention to the latest warnings. Monitor weather radio. And visit our website at www.weather.gov Norman. As well as radio and TV outlets for the latest information. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, as well as YouTube.